A few months back, I started my Pinterest affiliate marketing journey and it has definitely been a journey. I have learned many things along the way and in this video, I'm gonna be going over one of the most important and vital things that you will need in order to move forward with this side hustle. If you're new here, this is just one of my mini Pinterest affiliate marketing videos. I'm gonna have all of my others linked in the description box down below. One of the most important things that I've learned that you will need to do this is a blog or landing page. And if you're anything like me, that sort of probably scares you a little bit because I'm not a writer, I'm not good at doing blogs, and so that always initially scared me. In fact, in this video right here, I talked about how I initially pinned my affiliate links in the pins themselves until that led me to getting banned off of that account on Pinterest. Since then, I've totally started over and I've learned to use a blog for my affiliate links. And now I can create easy blog posts like this that include pictures, videos, proper citations, and much more, all with one simple click. And I'm gonna to talk to you about the tool that I use in order to do this. In the end of this video, I'm gonna be providing an update on something that I've recently gone through with my account, how I'm dealing with it. And so if you want to jump forward to that, if you already know how to do all of this, I am going to be leaving timestamps down below for your convenience. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Now that amazing tool that I talked about that I've been using is called seowriting.ai and my blog is set up through WordPress. Now WordPress has a plugin with seowriting.ai that provides a really easy integration between the two tools. So that way when you create your article, you can easily post it onto your blog and then input your affiliate links all with a couple of clicks. The first step is gonna be going over here to seowriting.ai and signing up with that free account. You do not need to input a credit card in order to get started and try out the tool. Now, once on the dashboard of seorunning.ai, I choose the one-click blog post, and the first step is to input keywords about your article. So for example, in this one, I wanna write about the best backpacks for kindergartner. So all I'm gonna input for my main keyword here is best backpacks for kindergartner. And then I'm just gonna select generate a title. What that's going to do is give you an SEO optimized title right there at the beginning and you don't have to worry about the SEO portion of this. That's what this actually specializes in. Now, if we just scroll down under course settings, you're gonna select your language. You're gonna select tone of voice for this. I'm gonna be putting informational because it's kind of an informational blog post. Second person point of view target country. For me, I'm going to be putting the United States. Now for article size, they do have extra small, small, medium, or large. I'm going to leave it on medium, which is 2,400 to 3,600 words. And for the AI model, if you're going to be using proper citations, which something like this that talks about the best backpacks for kindergarten is going to actually search the web and find all of the most relevant and accurate information for the blog. So I want to make sure that I'm using at at least the GPT-40 last model, it's the new one, and you are gonna need to use an updated model if you're wanting those proper citations in your article. Now the humanized text is one of their newer features and it allows for the article to be really readable. What they recommend is eighth and ninth grade, which is easily understood. It doesn't make it hard to read to where people are clicking away from your article. So that's what I'm gonna keep it at. If you're using this for a business, they do have samples here of things that you can go in and actually add into this section here. And then under Media Hub, they allow you to choose images and YouTube videos that are relevant for your article. So for me, I'm gonna put yes, five images. You can also choose the image style. For me, I'm going to just choose photo for this one. And then YouTube videos, I'm also going to select yes. And the number of videos, I'm gonna select four. And I'm gonna leave it on alternating image and video. Under the SEO keywords to include in the text, all I'm gonna do is select over here on the right, the NLP keywords generation. That's going to generate automatic keywords that are relevant for your article. The structure allows you to choose an introductory hook brief for your article. For me, I like to put a statistical or fact. You can also put a question, quotation, personal or emotional. I'm gonna put the statistical or fact and that'll give you that introductory hook into the article. Next, they're asking you, do you want conclusion? Do you want tables, H3, lists? 
italics quotes. I'm gonna leave all of it on yes except for H3. And the external linking allows you to put in those links that they find on the web of the relevant information that they're finding. Automatic and then the number of links one to two and place it at the bottom of the article. The connect to web is also an amazing feature of this tool and it analyzes hundreds of the most relevant websites with statistical data to create factually accurate articles for you. I'm enabling the deep web citation yes and the source links at the bottom of your article. That way it is a proper article for somebody who is reading it. The outline editor I'm leaving as no. However, you can do the outline editor by selecting enable the outline editor here. And then under publish to WordPress, you can select yes if you're ready to go ahead and publish it. I like to view it and then go in and add affiliate links. So for that, I'm gonna add no. And then from here, all you're gonna do is scroll back up to the top and select run. Now really quickly, let me show you the bulk article generator while that's generating this article and let me show you kind of what you could do and use that for also so right here under bulk article generation just click it let me show you how you would use this it's basically the same but what this will do is generate up to a hundred articles at once so that you can kind of just set it and forget it let's say for example you were talking about a psychology topic all you would do is go in and enter psychologically based keywords so for example you could just put anxiety, depression, continue adding in rows relevant to the overall topic, and then you can select generate. So right there, it's giving you those really great titles and then also generating keywords like that. And it's gonna give you all of the keywords that are relevant to these topics. And they're gonna input that into the article themselves. And then all of the rest of the steps here at the bottom are going to be about the same as the one click blog post. Okay, so the article is done here. Let's go ahead and click into it and let's take a look at what it produces. This article is really amazing, packed full of already, I can see right at the beginning, some great information, Pottery Barn Kids, the LL Bean Backpack. It's got a great picture here in the front of kids, like in kindergarten with a backpack. It's providing those key takeaways. Here's a YouTube video that it produced right there. It's got lists of the brands the models, the storage capacity, the weight, the special features. Here's like another cute picture. And then once you keep scrolling down here at the bottom under facts, what are the best backpacks for kindergarten? Why is durability important in kids' backpacks? Which brands offer top preschool backpacks? I mean, just packed full of information. And then like I stated, down here at the bottom, it's providing those source links for the information that it's providing. And now from here, I'm gonna show you how you can immediately publish this onto your blog or website if you're using WordPress. So all I do after I'm done creating my article is click right here at the top under publish, and that will allow me to go in, set the timer for when exactly I wanna publish that onto my WordPress website. And it also allows it to be under a draft where I can go in and then add in my affiliate links inside. If you wanna watch a complete rundown start to finish of how I also create Create my pins and pin them on my Pinterest board. I'm gonna leave a link for the video down below and also try to put it here if YouTube will allow me to. And if you wanna get started using this tool, I wanna go over their subscription packet here for you. They have the free option, which gives you up to five articles. You can hop on over and you can actually give this a try for free. Now, if you wanna use all of those amazing features that I showed you, like the bulk article generator, also the external linking, you are gonna to wanna to hop over to the starter packet, which is just $19 a month, or you can do the professional packet for $79 a month. You can save 25% by being billed yearly or by using my coupon code that I'm gonna place right here, also in the description box down below. So don't forget to use that to take advantage of a discount for the monthly plan as well. Like I stated, I wanna give you all an update on my Pinterest board. I was discovering that in some of my pins, Pinterest has placed this alert that it wasn't allowing it to go through to my website because they suspected spam. Now this, I believe after doing my further research and asking about it is due to uploading multiple pins about the same article. So what I learned is that you're gonna wanna go in and create a new article, a new pin, a new title, everything like that, 
per pin that you're pinning. I, from my experience, suggest not uploading a lot of pins in regards to the same article because Pinterest is picking that up as spammy content and they will eventually start to block your website. So definitely be careful. Pinterest has buckled down on what they consider to be spam. And so you are gonna wanna make sure you're reading over these guidelines. I will put them in my description box down below. I'm still learning as I'm going and I'm definitely wanting to provide these updates as I'm going of the things that I'm learning so that you can avoid them. So if you're putting in pins that are repetitive in nature, definitely watch out because Pinterest can pick up on that and can go in and actually block people from visiting your webpage. If after watching this video, you have any questions or if you wanna watch my journey or if you wanna watch specific things that I've talked about in my mini Pinterest affiliate marketing videos, please leave a question or comment down below in the comment section. Again, I'm gonna have my entire playlist linked down below along with other helpful resources for you. As always, thank you all so much for your support and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.